Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how you can create your own custom functions in Excel to join two tables into one dynamic list. So here I have a table called income and a table called expense. What I've done is created this custom function called join and it requires just the list list A, list B, so my list A is income, comma, my list B is expense. And then when I close my bracket, it spills the content of these two tables. Of course, the good thing is that when I add or when this table grows, my dynamic list also grows as well. So join me and let's go through this in a few minutes in Excel. So we start off with these two tables, this is named income and this is named expense. Our first step in the process is to extract the content of this table and we are going to use index. So with index, when I point to any range or column and I ask it to return an index number, let's say one in this case, it returns the first item. Now we want to make this expandable. So instead of returning just a single number, we use sequence, which returns a sequence of numbers and then count the number of items in this column. So I'm going to select this and then I'll close this. So when I do this, because I have four items here, my index now spells four items. Our goal is to return the items in both tables. So with the count A function, what I want to do is to include the second table. So here, I would include the count of the second table and this is going to give me a ref. The reason this is giving me a ref is that with this current table there are only four items. Beyond the fourth one I have errors. We want to take advantage of these errors. But let me show you what is happening here. If I copy the whole sequence formula and I paste it here, you realize that I have one to eight. Now, the switch to my second table happens after the fourth item. I want to run an if error that will take advantage of these errors and then bring the items here. To get the first items in the second table, my formula is going to be when I take the position of this item and I count all the items in this first one. Okay. And I copy this down. You realize that I now have a situation where I can now bring the items in my second table. So it is this logic we are going to use to bring in the items in the second table. So let me just take this off. Come back to our formula. F2, Control Shift U to expand my formula bar. And then I'll introduce my if error. So I'll bring my if error step at the end of it. So this is my original value, bringing me items from this table. I'll copy this, force a line break, and then I'll paste this. So if it returns an error, we want a switch. This time around, it should come from our expense table. Okay, returning all the items here as we counted it, but we want to subtract a count of the income Here. So in this case, I can now close it off and then I have this dynamic spell. So let's test this. So I have XX, it fails in here. I have YYY, it goes down there. So this is the difficult part and let's go to the easier part. The easier part is that with this formula, I can take the whole of this and then put it around one custom function. Name it, let's say join or consolidate. And this is made possible because of the new Lambda editor, also known as the Advanced Formula Environment. If you're on Office 365 or Microsoft 365, this is coming your way soon, currently at the beta channel. So when you go to Insert and then Add Ins, you look for the Advanced Formula Environment, it's going to load it. Now this is how it works. We are going to create a Lambda function or formula out of this. So you know with Lambda, we are supposed to declare our parameters. So I'm going to stand in here. 
alt enter and here introduce lambda so the inputs in this formula are the income items table and then the expense items table so we are going to call the income items list a and then the expense items list b so this is going to be list a comma list b and then my formula follows so what i need to do is any instance of income items has to be replaced with list a and then list b will replace expense items so let me copy this Control c and then i'll paste this one here close off my lambda and then i'll do same for the list b so here paste this convert this to b okay so this is our lambda now to be sure this is working we can test it by including the inputs in another set of brackets so i'm going to call the first input and then also call the second input okay so when i hit enter i should get the same thing so now that this is done i can come in here and then copy this lambda formula Control c okay Control shift u to collapse my formula bar and then I'll launch my advanced formula environment. So when it launches, you can take it off, expand it. Let me do it this way so that you're able to appreciate the environment. Let's take a quick tour. So first, we can create a new name range function or formula, which is what we've just done. We can also save our names to the workbook and use them in the grid. So with this, we are going to save it and name it as join and then you can also import code from github so that is a new addition here a very fantastic feature allowing you to cook your own formulas so now let's put in our first formula so i'll hit the plus sign here it will ask me for the name i'll call this join and then refers to i'll just paste my whole formula click add and once i do that it's going to format my formula nicely and you sync this very important you sync this to your name manager so this is going to be synced to your name manager and join is now going to be made available in your workbook so when I click join this is now my new function okay this is my list I'll select this this is my other list okay when I close this easily I just have my dynamic list so that is a new addition the lambda editor also known as the advanced formula environment it's an add-in coming your way soon. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Girls Up. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.